Hey guys, you're watching Vulgar's videos, and this is a video on my grandma's 93 Loyal sedan. Um, this has been a family for quite a while. Like she got it right around the time I was born. So it's well, not around the time I was born, because that'd make it 91. So I got it when I was like she got it when I was like three or something. Um, as you can see, it's Baby Blue, just like the song, 92, Subaru. Um, it's automatic. This is a... Oh, 92. 92. So, she got it when I was a year old. Something like that. Alright, so, um, I'm just going to get the mail and do a quick 0-60. It sounds different from my car. Maybe because it has a better muffler. As you can hear the fuel pump for some reason. I do not know why. Um, some people may think that a three-speed automatic may be faster than some manuals. Uh, that's debatable. Zero to 60, I'm going to check that out right now. But I know in the long run, a five-speed is far superior. Gas mileage-wise, maintenance, um, everything. It, it, you're just better off getting a manual. At least in, in uh, 90s, mid 90s, early 90s, but you're older, of course you're better off with a 5 speed. Any, 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 any more pretty much. Um, gas mileage is even better than an automatic, but it's still more fun in a manual. Um, I guess the charge light's going off, so apparently the alternator's going out, and brake fluid light's coming on, so my dad did put some brake fluid in. We think it might be a massive cylinder because there's a lot of play in the brake, but it still stops. So, it's hard to say. Alright, so I'm going to get the mail and we do a 060. I must say the one thing better off the automatic is you have a hand free, so it's in drive. Get me on the road. Better get on the right side of the road. Three. Okay, from a dead stop. Ready, set, ready, set, go. Now I'm not flooring it, keep in mind, it's about half the throttle. There's 55. There's 60. There's 65 at 4,000 RPM, and then as you can see, it gets it starts to get pretty uh, pretty high in the RPM, about there at 70. So, uh, yep, even though it's an automatic, it can still hustle. Just <laughs> you know, you're not gonna want to hustle. Let me tell you. I can still stop, you know, still has brakes. My mom's complaining, Oh my god, I don't have any brakes! Oh my god, the brakes on! Yeah, um, I, I never noticed. My mom kind of sounds like Mickey Mouse, in a way. But, uh, <laughs> yep. Automatic in a, a three-speed automatic in a Subaru, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's got its, it's got its ups, you know. You can drive with one hand, you don't have to worry about anything going on. But, look how long it, it holds on to the gear. I mean, look at that. Oh, that, that just annoyed me so bad if I had to drive that every day and just watch that sit there. A three speed. Oh man, I hate three speeds. Automatics. I mean, trucks may not so much because you don't see your, your tack, you don't see it hold on to a gear for so long. But let me tell you, in a, in a car, I love the steering radius in these Subarus. And so there was this this kid on uh, YouTube with the uh, with the Subaru Impreza with a 1.8, and I think that is a four-speed. Now I don't know if the four-speed is really that bad, that laggy, that that horrible. It can't be. I mean that that's pretty pretty sad. But he had his foot to the floor, and you can see I did not have my foot to the floor. I would not do that to my grandma's car. Um, it hustled just fine, you know. That was what was that? 11, 12, 13, 15 seconds. Not too bad. Um, but as you but as you could tell, it, it held on to the RPMs so long, it really needs an extra fourth overdrive gear. So, 
Yep, um, the clock works. Um, I don't know why the fuel pump has got noises. I uh, don't know why. Maybe it's faster than my car because it doesn't have four-wheel drive. I don't know about that. But, um, what is there to say? Oh, yeah, the linkage needs to be adjusted because you have to slam it in the park to get the, the ding-dong thing to, to turn off, you know, in order to get the steering to lock up. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's had a few problems. I don't know why, but the engine, the old engine went out. I don't know why. I mean, if I ask, I could probably figure, out, figure it out, but... I don't know, it's, it's kind of a gray subject. Um, it only has 19,000 miles on it, which is, you know, very low miles on a Subaru. And air conditioning still works, everything still works. You know, I love Subarus, it's partly the reason why. My grandma's had them, my uncle had one. That was a turbo one, that was a long time ago. My dad's had it a lot, and my mom's had a few. Well, we're actually on my dad's cars, but yeah, that's it. My grandma's 92 Subaru. 92 baby, baby blue Subaru. Yep. Uh, what else is there to mention before I run out of time? Um, uh, I don't know. Does the sprayer work? Yes, it does. Oh. Oh, the gas mileage, I would assume, is 23. I mean, mine says 23 on the, on the website, but... Um, we, we swear up and down, it's 25, um, it is 3 speed, so it, it does get less, considerable less than a 5 speed, even though it's 2-wheel drive, rather than a 5 speed, the 4-wheel drive would get better, because it's 5 speed. If this is a 5 speed 2-wheel uh, drive, it would probably get 30 miles a gallon, somewhere around there. So, I'm just gonna end it here, yeah, thanks for watching, and, yeah. Subaru's rule. Don't diss the Subaru. One thing I guess I can mention is uh, the engine. Since this is a, 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 a newer engine off of a car in a wrecking yard, it is so clean. Look at that. It's the cleanest I've seen any Subaru engine ever. Let alone any engine. Look at that. It looks like something came out four years ago rather than, I don't know, 17, 16 years ago. Yeah, or 18. Look at that. Pretty clean. You hear that? I think it's okay. There's that. Since it's a tool drive, it sits lower the ground, which is annoying for me. There's a duck sound. Dunk. And as you can see on let's see, four out of time. As you can see on my car. It sits quite a bit higher up in the back, which I like. I like having the extra space for whatever reason. So that's it. My grandma's super real.